If you've been living under a rock, you might not have known that Dana White is a heavy gambler, and there's some reasons behind it. First of all, it's kind of an entrepreneurship type mentality because there's some holes and places that we can fill as workers and, and aspirers that want to make something of themselves. We try to find holes in people's games and businesses that we can make money and profit it from. So Dana saw this business, this dying business, and said, hey, I like the combat sport era. I like boxing. Let's see if we can make something into it. And of course, produces a multi-billion dollar company. In do, he goes on top of that and lives in Vegas. So Vegas has holes in their games because gambling. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to hear from Dana about this because as an entrepreneur, we want to see if we can do the best that we can and try to make money in any way possible. And on top of that, there is some competition. So you've got that like trifecta situation going on here. And I want to hear from Dana himself why he likes to gamble. And not only that, such a high limit because we all love sports. We like our hobbies. And that's what Dana loves. Dana loves this as a hobby. So we're going to get some B-roll going. We're going to listen to some Dana White on the back. So sit back, relax, you guys. Uh, get some popcorn out. Let's have some fun. Let's get into it. Enjoy the ride. Let's go. The gambling, you love it. Yeah. You, it like, I, even when I see you talk about it at press conferences, mm. You are like excited about it. Like you're happy you get a question about it. Even now you're smiling. Like, explain to me one, the feeling of it. Is it close to anything else? Yeah, it's 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 right up there with everything that I love. <laughs> fucking like, you know, take the, I'll give you an example. Like I'm in a position where I'll be home. Let's say my family's out of town, right? And I got Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now I could fucking jump on the plane and I could go anywhere. And I could literally do anything. I want to go to Caesar Palace. <laughs> That's what I want to fucking do. So and throw down. I literally fucking go in there. And what I love about Caesars is Caesars, when you're when you're a fucking big player, like Caesars treats big players right, you know? I didn't like the setup I had. They literally built a fucking room for me. Is this the room that we see in a lot of like YouTube Rock. videos? The, the, okay. the Fertitas, every casino the Fertitas open, they build me a room. Got every it, fucking right. casino. Okay, okay. So... Um, <laughs> they literally fire. built me this fucking room. Like Caesars is old school. They don't have TVs. They put a fucking TV in there, literally like a fucking embedded in the wall. And like overnight, they come in and do this shit. I didn't like the fucking chair I was sitting on. They got me like one of those gaming chairs, you know, <laughs> for, for kids that play video yeah, games for fucking hours. hours you know, hours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, they put a dining room table in there because I'll order food from from the different restaurants. Yeah. And I go in there, and what I love about Caesars is they treat their players right and they do everything the right way. They don't ever sweat the fucking money ever. What does that that's mean? cool. You go into some of these casinos, Listen. and 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 if you win. The fucking pit bosses have shitty fucking attitudes and it's always negative and they're always trying to, you always feel like, like, like fighters get paranoid. Yeah, yeah. Gamblers get paranoid too. Mm. Like, oh. like, oh, these motherfuckers are trying to, like, there won't be somebody at the cage to give me my money because they want me to fucking wait and see if I'll keep playing and, and fucking lose. Just all these little things that if you are a fucking gambler, you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Caesars has none of that shit. And every one of the fucking dealers want you to win because I take care of fucking yeah, of all the course. dealers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's just, there's a good vibe and a good energy. And I, I, I play Baccarat <laughs> and Caesars Baccarat is fucking packed wall to wall with Chinese. Chinese have good fucking gambling vibes, man. I Chinese love this. I love this. <laughs> absolute degenerate fucking Baccarat. Let's go. They Let's go. Let's go. They will sit there from fucking it. six o'clock at night till ten o'clock the next morning playing Baccarat. Okay. They're all upbeat and fucking good energy, and I fucking love it. So, <laughs> what I love about I, those are all the things that I love about Caesar's Palace in Vegas. And then the other thing is, oh, and the thing with Caesar's too is if you're a big player, every Christmas, they have this, they open up all their ballrooms. And the ballrooms are packed with fucking snowmobiles, motorcycles, TVs, electronics, jewelry, clothes, everything. And you can go in there and shop for Christmas and do whatever. So, Lene, who's my head of PR, she's in the other room mm -hmm. here. I give her the stuff and she goes and she gets all the stuff and gives it to the employees, my employees. That's cool. So we use all my fucking points to shop for the employees. That's cool. At, at UFC. And, uh, that's another thing I love about them. But the other thing is they're the biggest casino company in the United States. They have 44 casinos. And I love the fact that it's me versus them 
every fucking night. I go toe to toe with the biggest casino company in the world. I love it. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm in this fucking war with them right now. Okay, <laughs> since Jan one, since Jan since one, Jan I'm one. in this war with them. Been playing baccarat, and I beat them for sixteen point five million dollars. Wow. Since January one. Since what? Jan one. So every night is like this fucking war, and 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 I've only since Jan one, I've only lost to them twice, but I'm still. I have such a fucking big lead on them. They need me to get murdered, like bad, bad. Do you to, ever go on? What is it called? Up. On tilt or whatever? What is? Is that a? Is that the term? <laughs> on it's tilt. Poker term for sure. When you're emotional. Where you just you just can't yeah. stop. On tilt is also. Or do you, are you very diligent about the way you gamble? Where you go? I'm under usually a very amount? diligent, but I'm not going to say there's not been a couple times, and those are the times that I lose when you when you fuck up and and you and you stick around a little a little too long. Should have. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it happens. To bring this back to UFC, that event, the the energy. So oh, think about this too. Okay, this is what I love too. This is not a. Ga- is, by the this, way, this, this is a gambling question. I'm going to ask this, you. This again. So there's there's this is the biggest casino company in the country, right? And I'm on a fucking run. That six o'clock the next morning, emails are flying around the fucking company like. This motherfucker beat us again. This motherfucker beat us again. This, 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 and you fine. love the fact that you're driving them fucking crazy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And the other thing that I love about it's the Carano family that owns this. That Carano. owns Caesars. I don't know. Gina Carano. What? Oh, I didn't the, know that. The Carano family owns Caesars Palace. Yeah. I didn't no know way. They own the biggest casino company in the country. Wow. And it's Gina Carano, the yeah. UFC fighter. The shoes, no and now way. She uh, makes films. Oh. She yeah. was on Mandalorian yeah. and she oh. got kicked off because I think she didn't want yeah, to get yeah. vaccinated she had the whole or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I Gina never Carano. would have known that. Oh, wow. No way. Oh, no. She lost yeah, her family. Show. Her father is Glenn Carano. And, 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 uh, wow. Yeah, they, they, they own all the casinos. And and the thing that I love about them, too, wow. They, uh, they're so fucking classy about how they do everything with whatever. When I'm, like, I'll run into them in the hallways when they're in Vegas. They live in Reno. But when they're in Vegas, I'll Reno's run into awesome. them. They couldn't be classier about it. And just, classy good people so i love taking their war yeah with them every day you know what i mean and it's like and 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 if i'm gonna lose i want to lose to classy good fucking people like them Mm. or the fertitas you know what i mean it's 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 fun for me it's it's what i love to do it's it's final fight first spike tv final between bonner and forced the whole card you said was okay you're going into that final fight. The contract is dependent on this final fight. The card was not great. Right, you were saying that earlier. Yeah, it wasn't okay, it was not oh, great. Oh, that, okay. The excitement of going into that final fight, <laughs> is that the same as when you're on a run? No, I would say the excitement after that fight. There we and go. And how I felt after that fight. There we go, that's I the way knew, to put it. I knew, no matter what happened, we had it. That's, That's the Baccarat run? Every night when I walk in to Caesars and I walk into that high limit room, I'm fucking amped up and I can't Same feeling. play. Do you can't know who... Uh, so here, here, here's the biggest yeah. thing. It's it's easy to talk about the wins and, and winning right. and it feels good. Blah, blah, blah. It's much like fighting. It's the highest of the highs yeah. and the lowest lows, of the lows, the lows. when yeah. you lose. But I've been gambling for so long that I've been able to manage that. Like when I get my ass kicked... You know, some people can't handle it and they go into a deep, dark depression and they all listen, I don't give a fuck. I get up the next day. I look at 2024 as a war, okay? This year is a war for me. And these are all little battles that are fought inside the war. Some nights I win, some nights they win. But where do we end up at the end of the year? And it's just, it's it's what I really, really love to do. Have you beaten them for, me. for a year? Have you beaten Have them for you a ended whole a year? year? Yeah, oh. so you go through... At the end of a year, you're either get decimated and you're fucking whatever, <laughs> or you beat them by a Bam. margin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or you're even. But that feels good. That's just what I like to fucking do. Yeah. What's it's the just, most you ever won in, in a day, and the most you ever lost in a day? So I literally have won. So what I do in a day is I keep my day at a million bucks. Okay. Okay. So if I win a million, <laughs> conservative. Yeah. I leave. I've been oh. clipping these guys for a million a night. Oh, you mean you stop at the million? Yeah. When I beat them for a million. So for the last, since Jan 1, I've been clipping them from anywhere from 800 to a million a night. Wow. Right? When I go in and play. And uh, 
when I lose, I'll go guns a blazing and and go through my whole fucking uh, credit line, <laughs> What's which your is credit six line? million. Whoa, wow. whoa, whoa! Wow. Yeah, you've lost six. Yeah. Do you know how much you Holy lost? Hold on, hold on. Let's stop there. No. You, all time? I don't know. The wins and losses. Me and Hunter were talking about this the other day. Shit. All time wins and losses. And you're talking, you know, probably 20 years of, <laughs> oh, buddy. of yeah. hardcore real gambling. Yeah. You lose six. You walk out of there. What is the first thing you do? I, it's usually late, so I go home and go to bed. No milkshake, no nothing. No, like, <laughs> sugar high to make you feel better. Like, no. No. I fucking psh, just another day. Shake it right Six off. Six million. Wow. Go home, go to bed, get up, go to work the next day, and then figure out what the next game plan is. But I'm in a position right now with these guys where they're they're in they're in a, they're in a unique position because if if I I'm up 16.5 on them, so if I keep winning, it just keeps getting worse. So I'm eventually going to lose. It's eventually going to happen. And when I lose, I'll lose $6 million. So they know that. They're waiting for the big drops. 100%. Yeah. Uh, so I'll okay. lose $6 million. Well, I'm still up fucking $10 million on them. Mm. I got to go on a really bad fucking run for them to catch up to me. How much skill is there in Baccarat? It's 50-50. It's oh, it's the closest statistical game. In the, it's more than blackjack? Exactly. Way more. What's ah, weird. Ah, okay. This okay. is what's fascinating. That's why I love this, guys. Shit. I love this. As far as Baccarat, Baccarat has the best odds yet they'll let you play more money on that than they will on. You can bet $300,000. Because there's commission well, what's the on Baccarat. from them? Because and, there's commission. Blackjack 75. So, oh, and why, why Blackjack's they... way harder to win. Do you know how many multiple nights you're going to walk in to a Blackjack game and win a million? Fucking zero. Hmm. Fucking hmm. zero. Have you asked? But Baccarat? Have you asked why the they do that? Here's the thing Baccarat. 300000 a hand, right? And your number's a million? You win three hands and you're out. And... Hmm. This is your week. You're excited. You're ready to dive in. You're ready to walk away after three hands. Oh fuck yeah! When you have a million dollars, you got it's walk. the war. It's in 2024. Where's my phone? Hey, can you guys hear me? Where's my phone? Br bring me my phone if you can hear me. Oh, Why? What do you got? What do you got? I'm uh, sure. something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whatever it is. I'm <laughs> we have the intro to this episode. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. I bet you that actually goes in the favor of the house in some cases because I wonder if people, like their competitive spirit, they're like, oh, this is the chance I can win. So they're willing to bet more. I, I wonder. Like, I wonder it's, if it's. If, if I'm not mistaken, it's the commission. Pulls in a, a because the odds are so good, that's why there's you know a commission to it. Yeah, that, that place is full of sickos every single night. So, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Have you, have you built relationships with some of these people? Because oh, like it's got to be the same guy. Yeah, the so. high rollers. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I walk in, we're fist bumping everybody and shit. And when when people see that I'm winning, they'll run over. I see somebody winning. This was the other night. Um, yeah. Wow. Yes, yeah. That, that's a million dollars on the table right there. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. What's a tip? That's a, what's that's a, a million twenty five thousand. What's right a tip there. to a dealer when you're winning a million dollars? Um, so, so every time I play, no matter what I play, I, I tip the dealers 10,000 and then this is the wow. room in the back room. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're walking out with cash. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and, and, and right when we got there, he brings me to the credit thing and it's, it's for 300 and I sign it. And I'm like, I thought we were a million. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to keep every, if you lose, hopefully you don't, I'll just keep bumping it another. I lost the 300 and they denied me the rest of the credit. Get wow. the fuck out of here. Motherfucker got me to go there and told me he was going to do something and didn't do it. And if I fucking, I wish, nobody's ever asked me this before. I wish I remembered the name, but if you, any of those casinos in Niagara Falls, fuck them. Don't ever play at those places. They're all dirty, shady, shitty fucking places, man. If you, if you really want to gamble, right? And you live anywhere, jump on a fucking plane and fly to Vegas. Vegas is... First sure, of all, there's right. a shitload of competition, right? Mm -hmm. There's casinos up and down the fucking strip, so downtown, they gotta whatever. They're going to treat you right, yeah. They're going to treat you right. They're going to give you the best fucking deals you yeah. get. They're going to give you um, a discount on your losses. If, they lo if you lose, they give you a percentage of your money back. You can negotiate that type of... There's all kinds of things you can negotiate. Is that like depending on you the can amount you can or anybody yeah, can? Yeah, yeah. 100% ask. depending on what type of player you are. Sure. But if you're a consistent, good player... The casinos in Las Vegas are going to take such good care of you that none of these fucking shitholes outside of Vegas 
could ever even compete with. Mm. So if you're going to go lose, I don't give a fuck if it's $2,500. Jump on a fucking plane to Vegas and make a weekend out of it. They'll treat you better. And you have a better, you, your odds are better of winning. Mm. I didn't realize that, that the sense. casinos could actually be shysters about it. I 100%. Mean, yeah. Well, Mickey Mace, he like exposed a lot of like games and stuff. I've, I've seen him on YouTube. Have you seen that guy on YouTube? No. If he says that he found a way to game Baccarat. And that that some casinos have like banned him from it because there are different ways to do it with blackjack. There are guys who like counted cards and stuff. I read a book about this. Not in Vegas. Back. They they they, they know you in Vegas. See, even the ones that they say they banned, you know, that I'm banned from. Yeah. What banned means is, so the Palms, I beat the Palms for one point six million dollars. Right. This is years ago. They dropped my credit limit. You know what I mean. So you're not banned. So, so you're not but banned. You can't gamble but, the way you but want. But they're basically saying, beat it get lost it, without saying, oh, you can't play here anymore. If somebody's claiming they were banned, they fucking cheated or they did something fucking dirty mm. or they just don't want, you're, you're a guy that they don't fucking want in there. It's not because you're that fucking good. Yeah. What happens is when you, when you consist, what makes me dangerous is bankroll and I will fucking go in there and I'll play three fucking hands and leave. Yeah. That's what makes me dangerous. Uh, they attrition. don't like for the weekend, You're right, the and, and do whatever. Yeah. You know, I'm coming in every fucking night, right? And I'll clip you for three fucking hands and leave. They don't like that kind of play. That's not what happened to the Palms. The Palms, I legit beat these guys at Blackjack for $1.6 million over 23 trips. So in 23 times, I went 23-0 and against them and beat them for $1.6 wow. So they dropped my limits mm. on what I could bet. Mm. Wow. They wouldn't let me bet that much anymore. Can you negotiate right? with them on the flip side? Like, yo, I just won two mil, but how about you only pay me 1.2 and I can do something for you guys? Like, is there ever a reverse negotiation that happens? Oh, hell no. I take every fucking time <laughs> out of that fucking yeah, place. That's 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 a lose, lose. Yeah, that was a lose-lose. You pay me less and I do something for you. Yeah. Well, who knows if the guy owns well, something in politics? We like, could work out a deal. If I'm clipping you for a million a night, you guys just give me 250 and I won't come. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could negotiate that deal. Um, but no, but anybody who's saying they're kicked out of a fucking place because they're good, they're full of shit. They don't literally kick you out unless they catch you fucking cheating. Mm. If you're a fucking cheater, they kick you out. What they do is they drop your limits. So, you know, it, it's harder to fucking win. If you can only bet, you know, if you can bet 300,000 a hand and you go in and win three hands and fucking leave, right, consistently. Yeah, fuck that. And they say, you know what? We're, we're only going to let you play 100000 a hand. Wow. Now, if you lose a million dollars, if I lose a million playing Baccarat, I'm only three hands away from being back up. If you lose a million true. at 100000 a hand, you got to win 10 hands in a yeah. fucking row. And yeah. that's not going to happen yeah. statistically. Yeah. You, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Do you have any stories, like, you don't say who, but like with high rollers, like I'm sure you're with like oligarchs and princes and like big tech CEOs. Like, do you have stories where you saw a guy and you're like, that guy's crazier than me? Like he's no. doing stuff that I've never seen people do. Or I, a big loss or something. I think that if you fucking really, there's only a couple guys in the world here in the United States and in Vegas that play like I play. MJ? Huh? You got any MJ stories? Oh, that's oh, good. Well, I've heard tons of Jordan stories, but I've never actually seen it. I'll tell you this though, Charles Barkley, Charles Barkley's a gambler too. Yeah. Charles yeah. Barkley came to Power Slab and the one that we did at the Durango and I have a big gambling party after. And and he fucking beat him for like six hundred fifty thousand. No, oh, that's way. cool. Yeah, wow. yeah. Barkley beat them for that. like six fifty. He crushed it. I love that. Yeah. What about? Did you hear that? I don't want you know. It's well, these, these influencers too. Aiden Ross. Yeah. Mm. So Aiden Ross comes to Power Slap, and Aiden Ross will play. Fucking Aiden Ross. This kid's what twenty two. Yeah. He goes on fucking. He's up a million. He's down seven fifty. He's up a million five. Oh my god. In a fucking Power Slap weekend. Wow. Yeah, that's Ross crazy. Is hardcore. He plays hardcore too. What about? Did you hear the rumor about Bruno Mars? I don't know how much is true about these rumors. Like, there's so many fucking stupid rumors. First yeah. of all, you have to put things into perspective. For, for Bruno Mars to lose that kind of fucking money, right? First of all, what's he worth? You know what I mean? Right. Bruno Mars prints fucking money. I yeah. mean, the guy, the guy has a fucking uh, a show in Vegas. In Vegas, yeah, that he plays consistently. Yeah. It's have you ever seen Bruno Mars play live? Unbelievable, unbelievably talented. 
un He's unbelievable. It is one of the greatest live shows you will yeah. ever see. When you're watching Bruno Mars and his team play, you're like, there's no fucking place on earth these guys would rather be than right here, right now. It's mm. incredible, yeah. great show. I don't care if you don't know one Bruno Mars song. No, nah, and you do know them. The guy makes yeah. shitloads of fucking money, and of course he fucking gambles. I'm yeah. sure he does. But yeah. to say that the guy is down this much and he owes the casino, Bullsh you hear a lot of bullshit fucking rumors. <sighs> Is there anybody that you find is bad luck and you don't want to gamble? One hundred percent. Wait, are no, you gonna there, listen, oh. there's, there's <laughs> fucking, okay. There's Let's go, guys. guys. Here we go. There, there, this Here we is go. so true. This is why I was talking about Caesar's. This Palace. is the best. I'm so when glad you go we listened. Caesar's Palace Baccarat fucking high limit room, right? Yeah. It is fucking wall to wall with Chinese people that are fucking like straight out of China, like straight yeah. from China. Yeah. And the, I I learned the game by watching them. Okay. I've 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 studied them playing the game and watching and all this shit and it's fascinating. But they have a good energy about them and they are very superstitious. Like certain right. animals that you might have on your fucking shirt no, or I get that shit. There's here. there's tons of different shit that the Chinese are very um superstitious about. And I don't know why. I just I love the fucking energy that these people have when they're in there. So you, you know, and, yeah. and when the dealer flips the cards and they're all screaming, monkey, 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 and they're fucking slapping the table. It's fucking awesome. There's just an energy <laughs> level in there that is fucking great. awesome. Great. And uh, yes, great. you get some fucking guys that walk in and you just, you get that vibe from them. This is, this is fucking the real life Eddie fucking mush, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> could be anything the wrong animal, the fucking wrong attitude, the way he looks, the way he plays, things he says. Do you ask him to leave? Like, yeah. he's a mush. No, right? you just get the fuck away from him. You move to another area and you get away from. Yeah, the Eddie Mush. Yeah, it's that's fucking real. Wow. Yeah, there's real Eddie Mushes out there. What are your other superstitions? Are there is there like a, a pair of shoes you wear? Is there like a tie? Nah, is there something? No, I have to have a vibe with the casino. When you walk in, there has to be this vibe in the place, and you have to vibe with the dealer. Oh, I'm, that's true. My I, biggest yeah. superstition is when you get a shitty fucking dealer that has a bad attitude, and you're like, this motherfucker wants me to lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, yeah. sort of my thing. Okay. Okay. And so they probably set you up with the people you like now. Yeah. It's just, I, I, I have this thing where I'm very fortunate in my life and I take care of people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, whether it's dinner or this or that, the people who are handling your food or your drinks or whatever it might be, I take care of people. Yeah. And it's the same thing in the casinos. So normally in places that I play regularly, everybody's on my team. Right, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Loyalty very important to you. It's huge. It's everything to me. The people that have had your back from early on, are they still in your life? And do you make sure of that? Yeah, I mean, I'm still hanging out with people that I went to high school with. Um, you know, f my circle's very small, and it's like when we were talking about canceling, like, with, like people trying to cancel. I don't give a fuck what everybody else thinks or what they're doing or whatever. There's a very small group of people whose opinions matter to me and three mm. of them are my fucking kids mm -hmm. you know what i mean those are the only people that can cancel you yeah yeah you know you're some so fucking dipshit on some yeah, fucking who cares? you, don't you know. know what i mean yeah. it's some yeah. network or yeah. yeah i'll tell you this the other day i, I was talking to I, I won't call these guys out on this but i was taught we were, we were talking about a deal with a group of people who are they they make shit loads of money but they're looked down upon Okay. Yeah. And I Jews. Talk <laughs> I was talking to them about it. I was talking to them about a deal. Yeah. Right. And the guy who's one of the big guys in the company called me back and said, uh, "You know, we talked to our board of directors, and I'm already out." You're asking permission. I'm uh, already You're asking wow. permission. Yeah. If you yeah. have a fucking board of directors, why am I talking to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just like I've dealt with that shit before. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. And your board of fucking directors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah th that's the shit that's fucking, Amen you know, to that. you get a group of fucking uppity. Amen to that. In a fucking room <laughs> that are going to determine the way that something goes or, or how you're going to do business or who you're going to do business with or something that's going to go on. You already lost me. It's true, man. It's true. All right, you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. We're going to, um, I don't know. We're going to call it a day on that. But, yeah, it just shows you guys, man, Dana's all about winning. That's all he cares about. He's got a small circle. All he cares about is winning. All right, guys, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.